I'm just going to finish up with one, which I have to do. Being a key I was just going to say, can we talk about New I'd Zealand? I'd love to talk about New Zealand because we want to do a mix of this for, for back right, home. Let's, let's we, we love you guys, so if you could just give we a love you, bit. We love New Zealand. What can I say? New I have to say New Zealand, New Zealand is really one. I mean, not just saying this as a showbiz kind of thing. You really say is. that about Well, no, I know. Yeah. But it is really the, one of the most fantastic places to tour. Not only are we really popular there, especially with um, Maoris and but it's just such a fantastic country, you know, places like Rotorua and, you know, they're oh, yeah. just amazing, sort of yeah. almost, you know, prehistoric, well, beautiful places. And then there's other parts that look just like England. England, yeah. You know, yeah. It's, it's, Christchurch. Christchurch, yeah. Christchurch, yeah. Christchurch yeah. England in the 1950s. In the 50s, yeah. Fabulous, but, fabulous but town. New Zealand culture is still so much alive with the Maori culture. You can always tell when a culture's alive because it it's, uh, assimilates everything else into it, you know. Look, South Pacific peoples truly believe reggae is their music, yeah, and it, therefore yeah, it is. <laughs> they love reggae music. Uh, uh, hip hop music belongs to the Maoris and to South Pacific peoples. You go from Hawaii through Tonga, Fiji, um, Tahiti, all the way down through the through the Pacific Islands. Reggae and hip hop is their music, and so New Zealand was one of the first places we had international success, wasn't it, with signing off? Absolutely. We were getting letters back, and you've got a number one in New Zealand, before we ever had a number one anyway. We actually so, had uh, um, half a platinum disc, didn't we, given yeah. us by the, by the New Zealand record label, and said, and get it. the other half when you come When out. you come and play, you can have the other half, a <laughs> couple so and a half, you know, and, uh, which we've still got somewhere, I'll get your photograph of it. And, and then uh, we were inducted into the Maori tribe. When yeah. we got there, which was well, an incredible honour, and it had previously happened to Prince Charles, I believe. Yeah. It, was it was a meeting of the South Pacific peoples, wasn't it? And a big um, murai, yeah, you know, Samoans, big, uh, Samoans and everything. And we were asked to turn up, we didn't realise there was 50,000 people there, who then all started singing, Version Girl or something. Yeah. But it was in Mara, in, in, their, in, the, in their tongue, you know. And then they said, no, it's your turn to sing. <laughs> <laughs> and Alice just put his coat over his head. And, and there was a band called The Herbs. They were always very popular back in those Great days. Mates of us. And a lovely mate, Charlie Tumahai, who was, who was a bass player with Bill Nelson in Bebop Deluxe. You yes, remember them? Yes. Who had some hits in England. And Charlie went back home and he got this band, Herbs. And there was um, Dilworth, the big, huge yeah. guy played keyboards. Yeah. Yeah. And... Um, so they were, the, they were the guys that took us to this meeting of the South Pacific peoples. And um, they got up and started singing one of our songs. And it was just it was incredible, true, true really. Beautiful. They just saved us and it was beautiful. And, and we were incre we were just humbled. You know, and another great thing, you'll probably, probably wipe this out, but um, obviously as you go around, travelling around, it's quite difficult to get your particular little tipple that you like. And obviously we like to smoke some of us. And, but you could guarantee in New Zealand, when you land in New Zealand... At the airport! At the airport, as you come out of, uh, of customs, there they are waiting. Still to this... With the bags in their bags. Still to this day. Um, when we go back to New Zealand, there's Tongans, a couple of Samoans, big... Big, what's his name? Bill, Tim, Jim, the Tongan guy took us to Tonga. Anyway, gang, gang of guys and New Zealand marries, and they're just standing outside customs with a bag of weed. Oh, the big bag. Oh, really, really, really good. It's weed. a beautiful thing. And uh, the last time we not that we ever took shit. No, of course not. No, but it was nice. Nice thought. Go and get a visa. And I carry a little bit of New Zealand with me everywhere because I just have a stupid tattoo on my arm that said something like, oh, I'm not even going to say it. And uh, I had to have it all covered up, and I just put on in Auckland. And I'm quite ashamed anyway, I'm not keen on tattoos, but that's where I'd have done. And, uh, and I know you did as well. I, indeed, in New Zealand, I had <laughs> And I swore I'd never have a tattoo, but once I went to the place where it all originated, yeah. you had, you I suppose so, yeah. That was what got me. I had some silly homemade scribble on my arm, you know, but we all thought we'd do in our gang, it's stupid. But you, no. can, you, you can you can stop a, a marry, you don't even have to know him, but you can ask him questions and he'll tell you all his stories yeah. that, are on, that are tattooed on him and there's a, there's a meaning to everything and a reason for everything and I think that's fascinating. It's cheesy as it sounds, do you want to give a, a shout out? Could you say, so, you know, here we are, so this is UB40 saying hi New Zealand. I'll do a shout out. Yeah, okay. yeah. Right, we're UB40, we're doing an interview, we're talking about our first album, Signing Off, and the first international success we had with it was down in New Zealand. I knew this because I've got family in New Zealand who'd phone and write and tell me. And um, we're doing this tour all around Britain, just playing that album. And we'd love to come and play it in New Zealand. So uh, any, <laughs> any promoters down there, give us a shout. <laughs> next year, early next year, that's when we love to tour. That would be the antipode. You know, we love to be down in Australia, New Zealand. 
and a far east, January, February. And hello to all our friends and family. And hello to all our friends. Lovely to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Perfect, guys. That's just, couldn't ask for more.